Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some new release dates for all of the CW shows. So we've got the official dates as to when the new seasons are starting. Also, they've released promo photos for the season, so it's like a poster, and they've taken some new photos, obviously, for promotion. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we'll talk about the release dates, and then right after I've said, say, Batwoman or Supergirl, I will show you the poster as well along with it. So, the first release date is Sunday, October 6th. Batwoman is going to be starting off the CW's original scheduling this very season at 8pm, obviously in American time. So, 8pm, Sunday, is Batwoman. That's going to be October 6th. So that's roughly around when they start every year, you know, around the start of October because that's, you know, perfect timing to end in about May time, you know, obviously with a few breaks here and there, you know, the mid-season and stuff like that. Okay, so now you can see the new Batwoman promotional material and it's really cool. So they've taken a new photo, obviously, with Ruby Rose as they've been filming recently. And they're going to start filming again in July for the rest of the season because if you didn't know, I believe they only shot the pilot to show the CW and then after that, now they have permission to carry on and film the episodes. Batwoman's supposed to be having 13 episodes this season, so maybe it gets more when we go into the back half if it's well received, if it gets good ratings and such. And I think it's in a good place on Sunday with Supergirl. I think that's a really great pair up. I'm especially looking forward to Batwoman, although I loved the first trailer, I wasn't so keen on that promo clip they released the other day, I found it a little bit cringy, not gonna lie, I just thought it was a bit out of place, I don't know, I just don't think it very much worked compared to the trailer, I really did like the trailer, so that's just me, but this promotional sort of poster, but it's, you know, landscape and it's joined with Supergirl underneath, it's really cool. So we see her, she's obviously in Bat in, you know, the city, she's in Gotham, and she is evoking the same sort of poster that we got for Rain, if you remember back to season three, or the Monel poster. Because, you know, the sky is very similar in colour. And so I really like this poster and the Batwoman logo is really cool as well. So yeah, very excited for that. Let's move on to talk about Supergirl now. So Supergirl is premiering Sunday, October 6th as well, but at 9pm in American time. So this is going to be one hour later than usual, so mark that down in your calendar. But you get to see the new promotional poster. Again, very similar colour sky to the Rain and mon poster. I really like this. This is great. You see Kara as Supergirl. She's got her hands on her hips. She's looking to the side. You got the Supergirl logo next to her. This is great. I love this. And I really do like how they took new photos of all of them before, obviously, they stopped to go on hiatus. So I really appreciate that. I like these posters. They're very simple, very nice. And it sort of just evokes, you know, what the shows are about. And it gets me especially excited for the new seasons because it is technically new, although they would have took the photo, you know, a little while ago before they went off. So yeah, very nice poster from Supergirl. Supergirl is coming back Sunday, October 6th. And a lot of people actually got confused. If you look at the Hollywood Reporter website, you get to see all the different premiere dates for all the shows. And I myself got very confused because as you can see, it comes out October 6th. And then, you know, October 13th is when the next episode is supposed to come out. There is no October 13th here, but I got confused and everyone online got especially confused because we saw Arrow was down there and I kind of just presumed Arrow was up there already so yeah this is just the premiere dates it's not that they're not going to have an episode people have looked at the CW schedule on their TVs or whatever I don't know how to look at it but apparently there is scheduling for every week so October 13th 20th and 22nd and 27th sorry is definitely going to be having all the episodes so don't worry about that People got confused, I got confused about that online, so yeah, look forward to that. Okay, so let's move on. We have Tuesday, October 8th. This is two days after we have The Flash having its season 6 premiere at 8pm at its normal time slot that it's been at since the very start of the show. 
So this is the promotional photo, the promotional sort of poster for the Flash. This is great. I freaking love this. This is the best one. It really, really, really pops and it's very exciting to see this because some of the posters last season weren't very good, but this is a big improvement. I really like it. I love the colors, how it blends from the red of his suit to the orange of the lightning to the yellows to the really dark sort of fluorescent blue sky and it really just is very exciting and it gets me very excited and obviously below you can see the release date is on it as well so that's Tuesday that is coming so Tuesday October 8th so get ready for that one notable thing is his suit it's still the same obviously this was taken last season this was taken before they went on hiatus so we don't know if he's getting a new suit or not but presuming from this photo Maybe not, but I do believe in the past they've released these sort of photos to actually promote the shows and they've used old versions of the costumes and then they get new costumes in the next season. So I wouldn't sort of look into that too much, but for now it looks like we're having the same suit if we're going just by this poster. Okay, so that is October the 8th and that's on Tuesday. So Arrow is normally going to be airing the hour after but that's happening the next week after we'll talk about that in a sec wednesday october 9th we've got riverdale at 8 p.m so look out for that but then we move forward a week and so this is a week from the flash's premiere we've got arrow premiering obviously it's 10 episodes so it's airing a little bit later just a week later than all the rest of the shows so it's coming at 9 p.m after the flash so the flash will have an episode on october 15th that'll be episode two and that is at the same time that Arrow has its season 8 premiere of the final season. Obviously only 10 episodes, so at 9pm. And so this is the promotional look at Arrow for the next season. And damn, it's really, really cool. I really like the colours. Same with the Flash. It's very exciting to see this. And so Tuesday, October 15th, this is going to be the first episode of 10. So there will only be 9 after that. So this is the final season, it's obviously going to be very focused on the way it's going to end. Maybe we get the return of Felicity towards the end, maybe the last episode. And I'm looking forward to seeing how Arrow plays a role in Crisis. Yeah, really looking forward to Arrow. There's going to be Arrow videos next season. I was just super behind this season, I had no time to actually catch up. I have my exams, it's all done now, gonna finally catch up and then... You know, next season we'll be making videos, so subscribe for that if you really love Arrow videos and turn on notifications to not miss that. Okay, so let's move on. The last thing, October 21st, 9pm, we have Black Lightning, and so this is after All American that airs the week before. So Black Lightning doesn't have as many episodes. I'm really far behind on Black Lightning, but I thought I would mention it in this video for you guys who, you know, currently watch it. So... I'm super, super excited for all of this, especially because, you know, we've got all our shows returning and I love these posters. I'm really, really excited to see what's to come. And so maybe with Supergirl moving an hour later, maybe it's going to get a bit darker. Maybe they're able to do some more stuff that they weren't able to do. I kind of found it a little bit weird that Batwoman was going earlier because we all presumed it was going to be like the new Arrow as we put it in quotation marks because obviously we don't really know what's happening from Batwoman's stance as all we've seen is you know a trailer from the pilot episode compiled of a few clips so yeah not too sure maybe Supergirl gets a little bit darker and for Supergirl we have to look forward to the 100th episode and so Legends obviously isn't included in this because it's coming back at the mid-season which is you know not a very good sign if I'm totally honest that's on season 5 as well but remember that hasn't had as many episodes so that's not going to be the 100th episode this season so Supergirl is going to have its 100th episode it has 22 episodes once again this season look forward to that Arrow's obviously got 10 The Flash has got 22 Batwoman's got 13 right now we're sort of suspecting that Batwoman will get some more episodes as we head into the back half that's what you know a lot of television networks in america do so yeah look forward to that look forward to the 100th episode i'm suspecting some more returning characters if you look at the flash and arrows 100th episode in the past and also 
we are supposedly getting the return of win this season we're not sure in what capacity maybe just in a few episodes but the showrunners have promised that he's coming back but I wouldn't keep your hopes up because they said that about last season and they changed their mind even though they promised it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.